Right, I've got this um, lock brought into me today. It's a cathedral door lock. Uh, the complete unit I will show you later. All I'm going to do is have a go at picking it. This is the homebrew pick I made. It's quite sturdy because it is a big lock. And that's my tension wrench, which is an awning peg puller. So let's see what we can do. Uh, this is absolutely massive, great thing. It, it measures 9 inches by 6 inches when the casing's on. Uh, I'll have to do this opposite handed because of the way it is. And my vice is not strapped down so it makes it awkward. It's only one lever. Here we go. Look at that. So simple. Let's see if we can do it the other way now. Uh, tension wrench in. Go on, that in first. And my tension wrench in this side. Jesus. Change hands. This is very simple, but very mm, gold. Not going to do it. Over lifting on an ancient block, taking a rabbit. showing you the case with all the measurements. Thanks very much. Okay, I'm going to try something different now. Um, this is the cathedral lock, as you can see, it's got uh, metal edging, made of timber. It does have the, uh, an oval stamp on here, which is illegible, uh, but I think it says broads. Now, as you can see, it measures approximately nine inches across and six and a quarter inches deep so that's a massive old thing. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take off the top and that's the inside. Now if that was a modern day uh, chippy, if Dark Horse is watching, you know, they'd say that was a real bodge job but uh, that's how it's made. Now. This is trial and error, so you'll have to bear with me. I'm going to see if I can show you inside the lock. Now, this is the... Uh, this might not work. This is the keyway. And if I come underneath into the lock, You can see that's where the right in the center there that's where the, the the top of the key sits and underneath that towards the back I can't get in any any closer than that but you can see the dot right in the middle that's the lever at the back that lifts the lever up so uh, it's quite an interesting old thing but it looks, looks like I'm on the wreck of the Titanic uh, there's nothing else in here, it, it's so basic. But, uh, I don't know if that's picked it up on the camera, but we'll see. 